Welcome back. Now it's time to highlight a successful small business with strategies for growing your company. Correspondent Shannon Lanier has more. Thanks, Caroline. Now, if you do want to grow your company, our Entrepreneur of the Week says, just sell the best quality of products possible. Come on. It's a crown and glory that's become a gold mine for Erica Dotson. We're on track to making about $5 million. She's co-founder and creative director of Indique, a company that produces hair extensions from a very special source. Our company is Indian hair that's been imported into the United States. The quality of it, its uh, longevity, it's very different from what's on the market right now. Originally, Erica hadn't set out to open a hair accessory company, but decided to seize the opportunity. Well, I actually started out as a hairstylist, and I ran across this amazing hair. The only thing is very difficult to obtain, so I did my research and found an amazing source. With all that being said, I ran into my existing business partner and we decided to start a brand within the United States and that's how Indique was formed. To start up our business, it took about a million dollars. 50% of that went towards inventory. The other 50% went towards marketing, staffing, and other startup costs. Although Indique now has five boutique locations, initially there was some concern about launching during a stalling economy in 2006, but she says... When the economy went really bad, we actually did better. I think uh, what is in the beauty industry, with any product in the beauty industry, women are able to purchase something at a low cost and they feel better. However, the fact that their inventory comes from abroad has led to some challenges. We ran into the issue where all of the shipments coming in from India were on hold for over six weeks. What we did to help alleviate the issue is we put together a customer waiting list and then we referred our customers to other products that we had available to help them achieve the same look and style. Now the company is going beyond hair to meet the needs of its customers. We identify with a woman who has an active lifestyle. She's into glamour and fun. And so we communicate to that customer through celebrity partnerships, videos, photo shoots, and we also communicate with them through Twitter and other social network platforms like Facebook. Since Erica is so technologically savvy and so in tune with social media, it really helps create plans that reach all of our different clients on all those different platforms. This Texas native feels it's important for budding entrepreneurs to know their industry. It's important that you stay on top of the trends and always stay abreast of other competitors that are coming into place. Find out what they're doing and see if there's a way for you to do it better. Right. The color that's shown in this article here. What's next for our company? Well, we plan on expanding our boutiques across the nation and creating new products and brands and really getting it out there. Thanks, Shannon. If you know of a small business owner who could be our next Entrepreneur of the Week, email us at bebr at blackenterprise.com. Now it's time for Quick Tips, your exclusive guide to get ahead. Hi, my name is Robin Young, president of Women Behaving Wealthy. If you would like to be a woman behaving wealthy, then please find the right financial professional for you. Ask yourself these questions. Number one, what type of investor are you? Are you self-directed? Do you like collaboration? Or would you like to pass the entire range to the financial professional? Ask yourself the second question. How often would you like to hear from your financial professional? Monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually? And then finally, ask yourself this very important question. Could you have dinner with you, your spouse, your financial advisor once a year? If you can't answer that question with an affirmative, then possibly you don't feel comfortable with that person. And finally, you are in control of your family's finances. So please find the right financial professional for you. Still to come on Black Enterprise Business Report. So I can design my own pair of shoes. Your own shoes, anything you want.